We now know no one will be charged in the case of missing money and property from the Petersburg Police Department's evidence room. That decision comes from Chesterfield authorities who were called in to investigate years old allegations. Live at five, Tri-Cities reporter Brent Solomon is live at City Hall where the mayor is now weighing in. And Brent, what is he telling you? Yeah, Carla, we spoke at length this evening. Even auditors will tell you that the city here has a history of mismanagement uh, and even poor accounting. The mayor says you have to understand the past in order to move forward into the future. So today, Commonwealth's attorney for the city of Petersburg, Cheryl Wilson, said authorities in Chesterfield decided not to move forward with any criminal charges regarding missing money and property in Petersburg. Sources tell me some of that property includes a television and jewelry that went missing from the police department's evidence room, as well as a few thousand dollars across several city departments. Petersburg requested Chesterfield to investigate back in 2016 to avoid a conflict of interest. But again, their findings that just wrapped up did not recommend any criminal charges. I'm just sad that um, the city has been put in this situation from the get-go because it's unfair to our citizens, it's unfair to everyone who has invested here. We had a, um, a lot of people uh, that wasn't being held accountable. And I will say under this, this council and this administration that we hold the people accountable. The mayor says Petersburg has been working to clean up past leadership issues with new administrators working to keep the city on the right track. Today, Petersburg officials confirmed that investigation was finished after I started asking questions last week. At that time, I even asked for a copy of the investigative findings, but city officials told me they would not release that, citing a state law that they claim <laughs> restricts them from sharing that information with you. Live at 5 in Petersburg, Brent Solomon, NBC 12. All right, thanks so much, Brent. And if there's a story in the Tri-Cities area that you want Brent to look into, he is our Petersburg Beat reporter. So send an email to bsolomon at nbc12.com.